Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to define a Redux action. Since Redux is a state management framework, update, updating state is one of its core tasks. In Redux, all state updates are triggered by dispatching actions. An action is simply a JavaScript object that contains information about an action event that has occurred. The Redux store receives these action objects, then updates its state accordingly. Sometimes a Redux action also carries some data. For example, the action carries a username after a user logs in. While the data is optional, actions must carry a type property uh, that specifies the type of action that occurred. Think of Redux actions as messengers that deliver information about events happening in your app to the Redux store. The store then conducts the business of updating state based on action that occurred. Writing a Redux action is as simple as declaring an object with a type property declare an object action and give it the property type set to the string login. Okay, so an action object should exist. Simple as declaring an object. So declaring an object, let's uh, just say let um, action equal this guy with a type property. So type is equal to login right and an object declare an object action so action is a variable set to be equal to declare and give it a property type with a set to string of login okay cool so uh, yeah I'm not exactly sure again you can just say const would be uh, const these are different ways in, of describing variables in JavaScript all of these work there's su subtle differences between them, which are useful in knowing, but we learned that in ES6. Um, and then, so yeah, we're setting a variable of action equal to an object, and then within that object, we're setting a type uh, that's equal to a string. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.